Without an Allstate agent, you're behind the eight ball. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? Stop right there. That is one of the biggest lies ever told on television. You are not in good hands with Allstate. I am a musician. This is my road tour van, in which I, my band, and our musical equipment ride from gig to gig. On February 15th, 2015, at 3 a.m. in the morning, we were returning home after a 300-mile trip. And a drunk driver insured by Allstate caused an accident totaling my van, his vehicle, and the vehicle of another woman driver out on the road at that time. Allstate acknowledged the responsibility of their driver as being the cause of the accident. Yet when their adjuster came to inspect my vehicle, he declared it total and only offered me barely enough money to purchase a high-priced bicycle. My van was between very good and excellent condition prior to this accident. The police had to capture the driver who fled the scene of the accident. Once he was captured, he was arrested and charged with causing the accident, fleeing the scene of an accident, and driving while intoxicated. Allstate adjuster lied and falsified his report, deducting certain things that were on my, on my van that he omitted from the report in order to offer me a lower figure to settle after he declared my van totaled. The offer that they made was about $6,000 short of Kelly's Blue Book market value for this vehicle. Today is June 9th, 2015, and we are still fighting with Allstate to be restored to the condition prior to their drunk driver totaling my van. They should either repair my van or replace my van with a comparable vehicle. And Allstate refuses to live up to that particular responsibility, even though they acknowledge it was their driver who was at fault. And the police report verifies that. You are not in good hands with Allstate. The only people in good hands with Allstate are drunk drivers.